going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. Happy New Year to everybody and everyone who celebrates it, at least for this time of the year. I know there are a couple of you guys who celebrate it later on, like I know Chinese New Year is sometime in February. I don't exactly know who off the top of my head, forgive me for that. But anyways, we are going to be covering a news article that I saw earlier today, which was called Awesome Smash Brothers Mod Turns Brawl into a Pokemon Fighting Game. Now I saved my first reaction for you guys on camera, but the article looked very interesting and it involved Smash Brothers and Pokemon. Two things I was interested in, or at least, you know, previously interested in. I still am interested in Pokemon. I just didn't really have too much interest in, interest in ORAS, but I mean, anyways, let's see exactly what this article is describing here. So Smash Brothers does have some Pokemon characters that you can use, like Charizard and Greninja, but there aren't enough playable characters for a Pokemon-centric fighting game. Enter mods. Now, some of you guys may remember Pokemon Tournament, which was a game that was announced earlier this year, or at least earlier last year, in 2014, and it involved um, Lucario fighting a Machamp, which looked like some kind of crazy-ass hybrid of Tekken and Pokemon. It's actually the main of Tekken who are also making that game. So um, pretty cool stuff there. Anyways, the thing is, Smash Brothers games do include the character models for plenty of Pokemon for use whenever you just whenever you throw Pokeballs in matches. Sleepy Jirachi seems to have gone ahead and made use of these character models for a brawl mod named Poker Poke Brawl. Okay, so Sleepy Jirachi, I've actually heard of this guy before. He's a YouTube channel. Yeah, he's a Pokemon YouTube channel that I've definitely seen around before. But um we're going to check out the video through the article. I want to see what more what Kotaku has to say. I know. Please forgive me for that. Anyways, so um, he's gone ahead and made use of the character models for a brawl mod named Poke Brawl. And while it's only in beta right now, it already looks great. I say that as a huge Smash Brothers fan, though, this appeals to me more than just a Pokemon fighting game in the style of Tekken. I'm also a fan of character selection here. You've got obvious Pokemon like Blaziken, but there's also interesting additions like Rodom, Jirachi, and Darkrai. So um, let's see here. So right now, this is the character select screen, as you guys can see. This looks pretty fucking badass. I'm not even going to- <gasps> Wow! So you can play as Blastoise? Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, Lucario, Mewtwo, Jigglypuff, Jirachi, Blaziken, Electivire, Meloetta, Meloetta Falco. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. <laughs> that fits perfectly. That ain't Falco. <laughs> um, Typhlosion, um, Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, um, Bowser, Ness, Ganondorf, and Mario. <laughs> All right. Um, Sleepy Jirachi, man. Maybe you should work on the names a little bit. But um, this is a beta, so you know, of course, you can't be too critical on it. This looks pretty badass in the first place. Um, there's apparently a Ganondorf as well too, which is a dark ride. So um, kind of strange here the names and the portraits, but I mean, hey, it works. Is Darkrai, yeah, so Darkrai is Ganondorf, apparently. So I'm guessing he must play like Ganondorf, and I'm Blaziken as well, too. All right, so um, anyways, right now the creator is looking for collaborators to help with the modding. Here's hoping that some people sign on because the project looks really cool. Let's see what this project is exactly. Sleepy Jirachi, I've seen you around before earlier in my Poketubing days. Um, shout outs to you, man. Let's see what you created here. All right, so we have we have a we have actually a pretty damn wide selection of Pokemon considering this is a hack of Brawl. Um, the new Pokemon that we have to play as, um, there's a ton of them, man. I'm not even going to name them all. You guys can see for yourselves the ones which aren't actually playable in Brawl. So I'm um, I'm very curious to see exactly how these guys work on the battlefield. That ain't Falco, though. That ain't Falco. That ain't fucking Falco. It appears that there's um, some new levels as well, too, as you guys can see. The levels that don't have the black outline are new ones that he managed to hack into the game. Not sure if he made those or not, but um, they look pretty interesting. Um, one with Groudon in it, apparently. And, um, yeah, kind of tough to tell what those are. But you know what? He'll, he'll probably choose one custom level. That one has Lugia. Relic Castle. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. What? Okay. So. Wow. So he has actual working models of these Pokemon. And remember, like um, the article has previously noted, as you guys know it as well too, that Brawl did have these models in the game four Pokemon that come out the Pokeball. So basically, if you wanted to make a moveset for them, you already have the models done, you just have to work on the limbs of the models. So I guess things will still be a little bit clunky, they'll still be a little bit stiff until things get smoothed out. But I mean, you basically have the models already done for you. So all it takes is a little bit of modding here. Well, not a little bit, but you know, a bunch of modding here and there and boom, you have a working character. Um, so 
Okay, so Blaziken works like Fox. Okay, Blaziken does work like Fox, and Darkrai works like Ganondorf. Yeah, he's definitely Ganondorf. Mewtwo is Mewtwo is in the game, I guess, because of um, Project M. Oh, and Electivire is Donkey Kong. Okay, I see. All right, makes sense. Pretty badass. But it seems like they do have some custom elements added to their moves as well. And they're not just, look at that! Look at that, look at Darkrai. He just launched some custom beam that did a ton of knockback to these guys. So I mean, even though he is building them off of the movesets of other characters, there's definitely some custom elements involved in a lot of the um, execution of these moves. So very interesting stuff to see there. This Ganondorf, that ain't something that Ganondorf does on He doesn't shoot a fucking beam from his chest. And when he did his up smash, apparently there's like a beam that comes out and spreads. Like, look at that. Look at that up smash. That up smash. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I really want to see Scizor in action. But yeah, pretty interesting so far. We're seeing um, Electivire do a lot of taunts. I would love to see some more of the custom moves from him. Ooh. I like the background too. He managed to have Pokemon just, you know, moving around in the background. I don't know where he got those models from or if they're custom made. Most likely he ripped them from somewhere. If you do recognize these models from somewhere, however, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm not recognizing what the background Rhyperior, Flygon, and Claydol are. Yeah, that was a custom move from Blaziken as well too. Sleepy Jirachi, you made this? Yo, S yo, 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 hold on a minute. SJ made this? Not fucking bad, dude. Like, I'm impressed. Very good stuff, dude. Very impressive that you managed to make such great work of these models. They look smooth, too. I mean, of course, there are some animations that involve limbs which Darkrai doesn't have, but the fact that you managed to get Darkrai in there and he looks rather smooth. He looks rather comparatively smooth for a brawl, um, for a brawl mod. Blaziken looks pretty damn cool too. Like I said, there's a couple of custom elements involved with these with these guys. For some reason, the freaking Donkey Kong can't stop taunting. Maybe that's just an error with the um, AI code. Let's fast forward a little bit and see if we can see other other uh, Pokemon in action. Okay, now we're looking at three people in the ring. So let's see what only two would be. All right, so. That Darkrai, though, is definitely the coolest one in my opinion. The Darkrai coming out there with some crazy moves, such as the up smash with the spark and that beam that just bust out of his chest like a goddamn alien. Pretty interesting. So let's see how Blaziken and Electrovire play in Sleepy Jirachi's amazing mod. That's a custom. That's a, that knee, that's a custom. That's a custom too. He has the, um, he has the, um, Tatsumaki from Street Fighter, from Ryu. This Donkey Kong, I mean, excuse me, Electivire, he has a base model built off of, he has a base function built off of Donkey Kong, but he has some custom moves in there as well, man. That's Donkey Kong's throw, but Blaziken coming through with some custom moves, man. Impressive stuff. Sure, the models aren't exactly as polished as a character's actual model would be because I'm guessing Sakurai didn't really need to put that much detail into the development of these models, which were only going to be used for Pokemon outside of Pokeballs. But, um, damn, pretty impressive stuff, man. I still think these models are very passable to play and enjoy if this game does get more, you know, publicity. You know? I, I can see myself playing this and enjoying it. Ooh, that's a custom. Oh, his taunt. His taunt, is that a taunt or is that a move? Because that damaged him. Woo! Nah. Damn. I am impressed. That's another custom, too. I don't get what this Electivire is doing. Very strange stuff here. But um, it seems like these are the only Pokemon which are going to be on display in this amazing mod. So, what do you guys think of this? I think it's rather impressive, man. I want to see what some of the comments have to say about this. Um, 
Sleepy Jirachi himself says, I haven't uploaded a Poke Brawl beta video in a while. The whole project has been on hiatus while I work on some more relevant stuff. I plan to eventually update the current models to their X and Y versions. Damn, this nigga doesn't play around. If you have any Brawl modding experience and you think you can help with this project, please let me know. Help would be awesome, you have no idea. I'm not super good with custom movesets, but I can import and make animations and stuff, so you can finagle with movesets even the tiniest bit, you gotta let me know. FAQ, what is this? A brawl mod that will eventually be full of Pokemon. I'm loving it. SJ, man, I'm loving this mod. I can't believe you managed to pull this off, dude. Like, this looks like some really intensive work. And this dude seems like he did it with no effort. Of course, he said this is a project that's been in development for a while, so... I can understand that this is a lot of probably a lot of months, if not years, work. But still, very impressive that you managed to get this far. Let's see some of the um, top comments of this. Dang it, Electrovire! I love you and all, but spamming that weak move over and over again isn't going to win you any matches, huh? Um, let's see. I want to play that game. Where can I get it? He's making it, so there's no way to get this right now. But this is still a great in progress project. I'm loving it right now. Just a heads up to all of you. Mods like this are played with friends only, not against AI. Unless you want to heavily modify the AI, they'll attack very irregularly. I like to have spent most of the match spamming that useless attack from a distance because it still thinks that it's Donkey Kong charging its punch. <laughs> nice. It happens with all Smash Bros. Brawl mods. I don't think it's easy to change the AI like that. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, Sleepy, that's awesome. Blaziken and Brawl, it's a dream. If the hack um, Poker Brawl already, I hope it's for download and easy to use. Definitely. Soon with Pokemon Fighters for Wii U 2016, 2015 beta testing in arcades. I don't know if that's a supported, I don't know if that's verified, but I would love to get my hands on Pokemon Tournament early. Um, but anyways, yeah man, this seems really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more stuff from this. I'll definitely subscribe to Sleepy Jirachi as well to stay informed on further progress of Poke Brawl. Um, what do you guys think of this project, man? For some of my Pokemon people that are still around, you might find interest with this, and um, I'm definitely going to keep you updated on top of this. But I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one, and a happy new year.